a second teen and her family are accusing Las Virginas Unified School District of failing to protect students. Earlier this week, we reported on allegations a teen at Calabasas High had distributed nude photos of a former friend. Fox 11's Christy Vajardo live at Calabasas High with new allegations. Christy. Now, the newest allegations involve only a threat of releasing explicit photos, but we're told none were ever produced, and it's not clear if any even existed. Still, it involves the same student and the same MO. I gave them names, and none of my friends were questioned, or none of the witnesses were questioned. An investigation that dragged on and bullying that was never addressed. A second teen has come forward with similar allegations that the same girl at Calabasas High threatened to release explicit photos of her and that the district failed to act. I was in emotional distress. I was like very, very like scared because I knew like everybody at my school was finding this out, this rumor out, and I was just scared to show my face at school. The now 16-year-old says after months of harassment and twice going to the administration for help, she decided to confront her bully. But it was she who ended up getting expelled in her freshman year. It got a little physical, and I regret the decision that I made. It kind of felt like I was at my last option, and I don't want anybody out there to feel like that's their last option. She came forward because of this 16-year-old girl who says the same classmate is now targeting her and took nude photos of her while she was showering without her knowledge, then airdropped them to the school. I was scared. I was humiliated. I was terrified. She and her mother accused Las Virginas Unified of doing nothing. That now that they have, you know, more than one person that has stepped up and said that this is happening on their campus, I think that they should really take this investigation seriously and that they should be accountable for what they have basically swept under the rug. In her daughter's case, sheriff's detectives tell us they do believe a crime was committed and they have now referred it over to the district attorney's office. Earlier this week, the superintendent of the district did send us a statement saying that they take student safety very seriously and that the matter has their full attention. He also added that they're in the middle of an investigation or in the middle of investigating claims from both parents and students against each other. As for the newest student to come forward to us, well, we reached out for comments. But we did not hear back. Live in Calabasas, Chrissy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.